But as we look at tonight's forecast, clouds rolling in. You'd never know it, though, from looking at this sky cam shot. This is a look at our downtown Disney sky cam, and uh, maybe some clouds off in the distance, but still looking great. Plenty warm, sure, right? 87 degrees, the current temperature. Winds out of the west at about 10 miles an hour. We've got a relatively dry air mass in place, which has kept the clouds at bay, but we're watching this cold front push into central Florida. That means we're going to quickly soup up this air mass. Matter of fact, our first alert Doppler radar already tracking some showers and thunder showers. There's Crescent Lake. We're watching some of these uh, bubble ups moving right now through Palm Coast. Up next will be uh, over toward Bunnell, Flagler Beach, and we'll put a storm track on this, as a matter of fact, moving uh, off toward the the, uh, southeast at about 20 miles an hour or so. So we're putting it into Benel at about 631. Flagler Beach, the rainfall knocks on your doorstep at about 644 this evening. Off toward the Ocala National Forest, rain is falling and it's uh, for now staying just off to the east of Reddick, but plenty of activity here from about Alachua uh, back over toward Newbury and Gainesville. This will be next to push in toward Micanopy, Williston, Reddick, and eventually Ocala. And this whole line is moving southward. The good news is the threat of severe weather is very, very low. Just some good old fashioned rain and the uh, quick clap of thunder is possible in our forecast. So the clouds are building from north to south. They just haven't gotten into the metro area just yet. By 9 o'clock, we'll find ourselves in the mid 70s, low 70s by 11 o'clock with cloudy skies. And then again, we're going to be bringing in those showers uh, right through the area. 63, our low temperature in Ocala, about 67 tonight in Orlando, 68 Sanford, 69 degrees in Melbourne. And our future cast model is the best tool to pinpoint when the rain moves into your neighborhood. So we'll start this at 9 o'clock tonight. And again, it's kind of the usual suspects thus far. It's going to be Flagler and uh, Volusia counties getting in on this activity. But you notice that line kind of pushing off toward the south by midnight and extending through the area. Here's 6 a.m. You're waking up early tomorrow morning, getting ready for Easter Sunday, uh, maybe services or the egg hunts. And we're going to be talking about a few passing showers. But I want to fast forward this to lunchtime because you notice we've got these popcorn showers continuing on the scope because we're changing the winds in from the ocean. So we're going to keep the mention of showers, unfortunately, in there uh, pretty much all day tomorrow. Not a washout, but hit or miss showers around. So cloudy skies, showers, about a 30 to 40 percent coverage. Uh, high temperatures in the lower to mid range of the 80s. So that high builds in back behind this front. We've got that onshore flow bringing the showers for your Sunday. Monday, this basically stalls out and adds to the moisture. So even more rain chances across central Florida. We're going to go with a pretty healthy shot here the next couple of days when and talk about the old rain department. So Easter Sunday, 40% chance of rain, 83 your high temperature. Pretty wet again here or there for Monday, Tuesday, getting better Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.